smoking the straight falcon in Plymouth Bowl with Gareth Holglass number seven broken flake. Very nice tobacco. Absolutely delicious if you like the the Lakeland essence. Some people have been talking about uh, well asking what what Lakeland is. Is a Lakeland a brand of tobacco? Well no it's not. Lakeland's an area up in the north of England above us. Cumbria is the county. And Kendall is a town in Cumbria, which is the Lake Lakeland, because there's all sorts of lakes around there, like Coniston, Windermere, Grassmere, Rydal Water, oh, all sorts, all sorts of different lakes. Vast Water, that's a very deep one. I fished a few of them. Beautiful places surrounded by lovely fells and mountains so when they talk about Lakeland tobacco I'm not talking about a an actual company that's called Lakeland it's, it's the place itself which is the English Lakeland which has been popular with people for holidays and things for years because it's so beautiful up there Beautiful clear lakes, absolutely fantastic. Had some happy times up there when I was younger. Like I say, fishing as well. But um, yeah, so that's what the Lakeland is, the Lakeland. But the tobacco's from there, namely Samuel Goweth and Goweth Hogarth tobaccos. They all stem from the sort of land around the Kendall area. And Kendall's a lovely little town in its own right. Very nice and quaint, where it was last time I went, hope it still is. It is. It's a wonderful area, so the tobaccos from that area became known as Lakelands, because that's where they were from. And the sort of specific floralness, which some people mistakenly call soapiness, of, um, of a lot of the Lakeland blends is, is very distinctive. It's you know, different blends. I mean, you get the rose geraniums, and you get the ones with the with the Tonka bean in, and other ones which are more almondy. I'm thinking of things like um, Ennerdale and Grassmere mainly. Cannon Plug. They've all got their own specific little mixes of flavours. They're known as Lakelands. So that's that. Anyway, yeah. And um, I mean, there's other other areas up there. My uh, one of my there's a great great grandmother. She came from Westmoreland, so I've got some sort of Lakeland, I suppose. It's still Lakeland, Lakeland uh, blood in me. I've known a lot of good guys who were Lake Lakelanders. I used to know one guy called Jack who had a fishing tackle shop and he was, I believe, from up the Lakeland and his lad John, nice people, often used to stop in there and buy a bit of fly tying material off them on the way home or some hooks or a tied me flies and we'd have a good natter. But uh, yeah, so that's that. But. Just relaxing today, I've been putting some new felt on the roofs of the top of the sheds and you should have seen the state of me before, my hands are beautiful now, lily white, but before they were absolutely jet black. I've got this, got this uh, ceiling compound which I've, I like to put along the, the joins of the felt on the roof before I put the, the clout nails in to hold it down. And, uh, You've, you've got to wet your finger and run it along, it gives you a nice finish. What the state of me, I was absolutely black as coal before. It took me about 15 minutes to scrub it off because it had sort of semi-dried. So yeah, 
in a such a industrious afternoon. But got these jobs to do. And I always seem to enjoy them when I do them anyway, so I'm not really moaning. But at least it's been good weather. Nice and sunny. I've got some some trimming to that I did as well. Had a big old um, privet privet uh, shrub which was hanging over the shed and it was sort of damaging the shed as well so I've trimmed that back so lots of things to do and potted up more tomatoes in big black buckets and not a bedding plant so I've been having a, a bit of a a bit of a gardening day really but got it to do anyway guys thanks for watching Speak soon. Take care.